Hello there, I'm Giant World with more Pokemon Diamond Redux. In the last part, we took on the Ornberg's uh, City Gym. We battled the trainers and Rourke. We got the Coal Badge. Um, and then the last part, I put a textual voice saying I'll catch a Shinx off screen because I need it. I need a Pokemon to, um, you know, um, to have Flash, which is a TM in this game, so it can only be used once. But I think you can buy more TMs of Flash later on in the game. But I've caught one, and this one's level 4, it's, I nicknamed it Star, I guess. Uh, it has a, a, ability Rivalry, and it can also have the ability Intimidate. I prefer the ability Intimidate over Rivalry, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it only has Tackle, you know, it's only level 4. And stats are there, I mean, attack's good at 10, def def defense is at 8, special attack is at 8, special defense is at... Uh, special attack is 9, sorry. Uh, special defense 8, and then speed is 9. But I'm only going to use this for a Pokemon when I need to use Flash, which will be coming up um, in the game um, sometime fairly soon, I guess you could say. So yeah, I have Inferno up front, as you see right there. It's all right there. And if you can see on the bottom screen, of course. And it's level 13. Uh, Rose is level 16, so yeah. Uh, I want to train up um, Inferno a little bit more, so he's caught up with um, Rose. But yeah, now that we have the badge for from one the Ornberg City um, Pokemon Gym, we can use Rock Smash outside of battle, yay! So Badoo, or Becky, will use Rock Smash right there, awesome. Is there, is there an admin that- What I was gonna say before I got rudely interrupted by the G dude was this, is there an item in this rock? Nope, there's not, I'm pressing on it right, A on it right now. There's no hidden item, darn it. Okay, um, here's Orenburg Gate, the basement floor one, I guess you could say. Right over there, that item ball is a TM70 Flash, so let's get it. Let's get it right now. Now, keep in mind, if you use Rock Smash, there's a chance that you'll run into a uh, wild Geodudes that come after it, because, like, when you smash the rocks, it's like smashing the Geodude. The Geodude gets angry and battles you, basically. So, yeah, let's just move our way out. Let's make our way around here. I should have bought repels. Uh, in Orenburg City now that I think about it, but oh well, I'll buy them when we get back to the Judo Live City Because I think with the first gym badge you get better items and all the Pokemites. So there's TM70 Flash I'm gonna teach this to Star right now just so I don't forget So yeah, it's a TM in this game as you can see right here right here. Yeah, there we go So let's just teach it to Star And Star on make it wins Flash because it knows only Tackle. So now it knows Tackle and Flash. How cool. Now, as you get um uh, the bicycle, and as you can uh, you know surf across water later on, you'll be able to access more um of these um parts of the um, this part of the uh, Ornberg Gate Cave or whatever it's called. Yeah, um, we can um we don't have a bicycle, which we need slopes for that. But like, I think we can get the item actually. So let's get the item real quick. I think you can only really run into Sidex down here, but I could be wrong. Dang it. I was wrong because in that wild battle that I just was in, I ran into a Zubat, of course. So I was wrong. There's Zydex, Zubats, and probably Geodudes or something like that. Here's another Stardust you can sell for a thousand Pokedollars, which is nice. Let's hop over the ledge. We, we again don't have a bicycle, so we can't go over those slopes or those little ramp things. So we'll have to come back later on when we get the bicycle. So yeah, as you progress through the game, as I said, as I was saying, as you get more um, badges and as you progress, as you progress through the game, you can access more of this area. But we'll have to come back to it for now. Let's use Rock Smash again right here. Dang it! With that, Inferno grew to level 20, uh, 14, why, is it, why am I said 24? Yeah, but with that, oh look, what? Inferno is evolving? Yes, Chimchar is er the one of the, the er earliest of the three starters that evolve early. Chimchar evolves into Monferno at level 14, Primple Up evolves into Primple Up at level 16, and then Turtwig evolves into Grodel at level 18. So there we go. Yeah, we got Monferno now. Okay, one store in Mach Punch. Ooh, yes, I want to teach you the move to um, Inferno really badly. Okay, so um, Mach Punch. A user throws a punch at blinding speed. It's certain to go strike first, which is really good. It has 40 power, which isn't the best, but it's really good for this part of the game. So I'm going to get rid of um, Taunt. 
Yeah, I'm gonna give it a taunt. Yeah. I just don't really need taunt, really, honestly. But yeah, Infernal and Mock Punch. So let's see if we can make our way out of the cave without running into more Pokemon. Yes, there we go. And the good thing about backtracking here on Route 203 is that you can just jump over the ledges and stuff. But then there's some wild Pokemon grass like right here that you have to you have to um, cut through. But it's only like f six patches of grass because because that's right here is two. Dang it! I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And then right here's four. Dang it! I just realized that um, Inferno is my first party official party member to actually evolve. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna rearrange his moves again because I just like it in a certain order. So let's, uh, let's put Muck Punch up first, and then. Yeah, there we go. That should do. That should do work. Hopefully I have it set up the way of my liking. If that makes any sense at all. So here we are back in Jupe Life City. I'm gonna heal real quick. So I'll see you guys in a second. One thing that I forgot to do, um, in, uh, the first time we went to Jupe Life City is, um, um, just, um, Go, go back to the trainer school and battle the trainers in the corner of the trainers. So let me do that right now. I'm I'm probably overpowered now for them, but let's just do it for the experience. So um, doing it is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Sure, why not? Oh, go my Pokemon, go! It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. Yeah, that is true. Um, I'm gonna switch around um, on Furnoise moves again, because I realized that I want Scratch and Ember to be switched on with the battle system and everything on the bottom screen, how it's laid out. So I just did that real quick, and we can continue and battle this trainer. I just became my friend. I bet I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this, but prep we, but. May we battle? Yes, okay. I I need to try the things I've learned before I forget them. We were actually confident that we would do pretty good. But I completely, I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like, talk to my friend and get a technical machine from him, which is the TM for Hidden Power, which you saw in that second battle that Abra used Hidden Power on me, or on Monferno, or Inferno, I should say. And, um, yeah. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, yeah, as you saw, both the trainers had Abras, that's pretty cool. Phew, woo, phew, you, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but we were no match at all. You'd be able to use this technical machine properly. Here you go. And again, TM Hidden Power, you can only use once before it breaks, so choose wise on what Pokemon you want to teach it to. A technical machine, or TM for short, contains a Pokemon move. Using a TM, you instantly teach its move to a Pokemon. But remember, a TM is good. Is good for one use only. Don't waste it. Of course, I won't use it. I'll probably save it, you know? Because I like saving TMs I don't use. Just to have them in my bag for some reason. I don't know why. Also, one other thing I want to show off. Because I didn't show this off the first time we were in Jupe Life City. Is how, is how the fishing system works in this game. So let me do that. And I'll cut to, um, west of um, Jupe Life City. Where we are at that dock and bridge or whatever it was called. Yeah, more like a dock. See you guys in a second. Okay, here we are at the... Um, dock right here so with the key since the old rod is a key item if i can get to it yeah there we go um you can actually select it right here and then hit register and then you use y to um instantly use it as like a shortcut button so yeah if we use y right here we can throw it in the water and whenever there's an exclamation point above your head not even in double of course whenever there's an exclamation point or mark above your head um you you can just reload it and press a but of course I'm not getting any nibbles for some reason. Any bites, I should say. Not, but the boy Pokemon aren't biting today. And that, and by that I mean Magikarp. Because you can only catch Magikarp with an Rod. I think in like, Ruby Sapphire and Emerald you could catch Tentacool, but with an Rod, but it was a lot more, like, if I percent chance. But I don't know how it is in Diamond Phone Platinum, honestly, with an Rod. I think you may only be able to catch, um, Magikarp with this thing. And of course, I'm still not getting a bite. I just want to show this off. But no, it's not being cool. Oh my gosh, that's like the fourth or fifth time I got nothing. No bite at all. Zero, zelch. There we go. 
land at a Pokemon. Whenever you have the exclamation point above your head, just want to press A right then and there, and you'll be um, in the battle with a wild Pokemon battle, or with a fire type Pokemon, which is magic, of course. This is level 6, which is pretty cool. I think, I thought they could only come at like level 5 or something, but I was wrong right here. This one's level 6. So I'm going to use Mach Punch on this thing. And Magic Carp really don't give out many, much experience, so that's a bummer. So yeah, and the, the um, ways you reel in a Pokemon in different Pokemon games are different. Like in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, there's this dot 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 system, and you have to say, when it says oh about, you have to quickly press A. In the original games, I think all you had to do was um, just get a bite, and then you'd automatically battle it. And then in this game, there's an explanation point, and you just have to press A. But th there's your 101 on fishing in this game, for rods, with rods I should say. So yeah, um, other than that, um, let's head north of Jubilee City. The clown is still there for some reason. Wow, okay. So let's go up here. Oh look, it's Rowan and Dawn, Professor Rowan and Dawn. Ah, Steven, impeccable timing as always. Thanks, man. Thanks, Professor Rowan. These, um, miserians are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't st stomach. That I can't stomach, I think it's what it said. Show them some manners, if you will. Mystery Man says, Oh, Professor Pokemon. Professor Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we will refrain from causing massive damage off to your assistant. Now, this, the um, assistant is Dawn, and she's a girl. So massive damage. That's not very nice. It's like abuse or something. Jeez. Okay. Steven, let's battle together and teach these horrible men a lesson. And yeah, let's battle them. This is your first appear, the first tangle or encounter with um, Team Galactic, which they're the bad guys in this game. You know, like in the original games, there's Pokemon, there's Team Rocket, and um, Johto the, in the Gold, Silver, and Crystal, there was still Team Rocket, and Hoenn in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, there was Team Galact, not Team Galactic, Team Magma and Team Aqua, depending on if you played Ruby or Sapphire. They only have Wimple and Zubat right now, so that's pretty cool. But it should be an easy fight, of course, with I, my newly evolved Monferno. Inferno will take him out, take out the Wimple with Ember, which is nice. I should have targeted the Zubat first, but what are you gonna do? So this will be super effective on the Wimple. And then, of course, in Pokemon Black and White, uh, in Black and White 2, there's Team Plasma, and Pokemon X and Y, there's Team, there's Team um, Flare, and then. And then the upcoming Pokemon games, by the time this is uploaded, I bet Pokemon uh, Moon, Sun and Moon have already come out, but it hasn't come out, because I'm recording this on December, uh, October 15th of 2016. But it, depending on when this is uploaded, it'll probably be, um, be when um, Sun and Moon finally are released in the USA. But yeah, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, there's Team Skull. So yeah, um, Team Galactic, they have weird haircuts, they have one pose and bats. they're not really tough, honestly. So don't worry about them until like later on when we get to the commanders, which I get to later, of course. So yeah, other than that, it's really an easy fight. With that Inferno Grid level 15, which is awesome. And we defeated um, Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. They don't even have names, they're just Galactic Grunt. <laughs> How is this madness possible? Tell us to, uh, two children. This won't do. This time to retreat. This mission is a failure. You guys said your dialogue so fast. The first guy, I couldn't even catch all his dialogue. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. But Team Galactic is uh, Beno Violent, I guess you could say, or Bevolent, be 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 to all we shall leave. And they just run off, okay. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some energy, some type of energy. However, it is believed that it's a mystical power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use their power, that power, for something. Anyway, Pokemon. Anyway, I call myself Pokemon. Anyway, Steven, well done. Your battle quite. Your battle. You battle quite compa compatibly. Uh, the sight of you, of you trainers and Pokemon battling together. It ma I made the right decision in, in entrusting you with a Pokedex. Thank you, Professor Rowan. Steven, did you know the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must un undergo startling evolutions. So Stephen, let's keep working on our Pokedex. Project for the Professor. And they just, um, you know, walk off and my, do their business, I guess. 
Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jupe Live TV. I'd like to you to have something for letting me see the smashing battle. We got the fashion case, which is used for Pokemon contests. But, uh, it's a key item pocket, of course. It, put, it was put in the key item's pocket, and it's a key item. Contained with that fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of the, of chic um, accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress, dress your Pokemon and watch them appeal, their appeal grow. And right now, the TV station is offering the f f its facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are... There's also prize giveaways too. Please don't, please do visit our TV station. And I will do that real quick. So yeah. Um, fashion case. Let's see that. Um, if we open it, we can't use. Okay, it just says, Accessories 10, Backdrop 3. I won't be covering Pokemon contests in this walkthrough guide because, um, I just don't prefer to. They really weren't my kind of cup of tea or style. But we'll take all, we'll t uh, we'll visit the TV station real quick. Okay, let's see here. The trainers that gather over here are looking for Pokemon battles. That corner used to be karaoke, used to be for karaoke, but now it's all, it's all battling. This is some great music. <laughs> I think if you come back to the TV station, they'll give you stuff or something. I can't remember. So let's talk to this person. I don't know what to do. The accessories we will go well with. What accessories will go well with my dress today? Interesting. Here's some TV cameras too, which you can't even click on and they won't do anything really. They're just for decoration, I guess. Um, there's an elevator, but I just prefer to get the steps for right now, just to show off like every four. The group um, ranking room is the one closest to the stairs. The room on the opposite side is the global ranking room. Yeah, um, I just realized something. It'll be great if you trade. Lots of Pokemon, I get a better chance of winning the Pokemon Lottery. Yes, because every Pokemon has different um, ID numbers or whatever. So um, if you trade with different po you trade and get different Pokemon, you get different ID numbers, which again can have you have a better shot at winning the Lottery in this game. Which is pretty cool. I think if you talk to this person, they'll talk about the Lottery. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. If you train, if you draw, if your drawn number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, starting with the first far right digit, you will receive a fabulous gift. Would you like to draw a Pokemon lottery ticket? Yes. Which, uh, yeah, please draw a lottery ticket. Your lottery ticket number is 40185. Now, let's see if it matches uh, the ID number of any of your Pokemon. I'm sorry, but they didn't get a match. So come back like every day, I think. You can do this like once a day and you can just draw a lottery ticket and hopefully win the lottery if you have like a matching ID number from one of your Pokemon. Okay, last thing I want to show off before this, um, Part ends is the GTS station, which is right here. The global trading station, worldwide Pokemon trading. If we go in here, um, I'm pretty sure that um, it won't let you do this because the uh, Wi-Fi again is cut off for Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum for the Nintendo DS games. Um, Pokemon trade, which I can save the game, of course. Well, I, I want to save the game just in case, but I know that this probably won't work because the Wi-Fi is cut down. And nowadays, in the present day of 2006, uh, present year of 2016, so that's a bummer. Okay, as I was saying, let's just head north before in the part actually, because I want to head north. Oh wait, I just want to show off the um the Pokemon real quick. So yeah, and getting a new Pokemon app too. So I'm sorry, I'm just indecisive on when to end the part. I'm sorry about that, guys. So yeah, let's go to um items. We can sell the Stardust, which is pretty cool. Um, don't want to sell any of that, don't want to sell any of that, don't want to sell any of that, nothing, 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 and yeah, that's all I can sell. But let's buy some stuff. Yeah, see, we can buy super potions now, and, um, repels, which is pretty cool. I think we could sell, rep buy repels, uh, earlier, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's buy, um, four repels, I guess you could say. And, I let's buy one super potion for right now, because they are expensive. I'll just have one in my bag laying around. So let's just do that. Yeah, that's good. And other than that, we can just um, organize our items, I guess you could say. Let's put our um, let's put our super potions up here. Yeah. Let's switch that with that. That should be good, actually. So one last thing before I end this part for real is I want to go, since we have an odd number of badges right now with one, one being an odd number of course, we can go back to the um, Poketch Company building, which is right here. 
If I can get into it, that'd be great. There we go. Okay. And we can talk to Mr. Pokemon, or the, po the president of the Pokecatch Company. Hi, hi, I'm the president of the Pokecatch Company. Hi, hi, your patience is avoided. I've developed new Pokecatch apps. And we got the Momo Pad, which is nice. I start on the Pokecatch. The Momo Pad is an app that can be used for jotting down quick notes, but they don't save after you like reboot your game and stuff, which kind of stinks. That's the Momo Pad. It's well, it is what it is. Let's talk to the scientist, dude. Oh, you. You can be sure I will keep developing Pokemon Pokecatch apps. Just like Pokemon, my Pokecatch is... Dang it, I... Let me read this last part of his dog. Just like my Pokemon, my Pokecatch is something that evolves. Nice. Well said. So if I go to the Pokecatch real quick, um, which is in the big box right now of the screen, um, if I can find it. Also, with the Pokecatch, um, in Pokemon Platinum, there's up and down buttons, like there's two separate buttons, but in Diamond and Pearl, if you miss, if you pass up an app you want, you have to go all the way back around in the rotation of apps to get to the one you wanted, which is a real pain, but in Pokemon Platinum, there's like up and down buttons, which is really nice. So here's the Mama Pad. You can like draw and stuff. I'm gonna draw the number four, which is really bad. And we can like erase two. Like, like so, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's, let's, I'm gonna see if I can write Giant Grotal. Hopefully this fits. Gi... It's Gina right now. Giant... There we go, Giant. I'm gonna have to go to that, go, I can make a stash right here. And put like, Grotal. I'm really bad, I'm using this with my mouse, so it's really bad. It's not like I have a drawing tablet or anything, you know, it's just... Strictly with a mouse cursor, right now. So yeah, Giant Grotal, and I'll put 2009 because that's when I started my YouTube channel. I love 2000. I've been on YouTube for seven years now, guys. So and I love every minute of it because I've really, you know, it, really myself. I've evolved really a lot. I'm gonna erase this real quick, but uh, I I've really evolved myself a lot because I've become such a better video editor. And my commentary's gotten better, and everything's just improved in my opinion with my YouTube channel. My quality, um, everything honestly. And I think every view I get, I appreciate every view I get. I appreciate every subscriber I have, and every subscriber I get. So I just want you guys to know that, like, I really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. Like support and all that, and all the comments you guys leave me, and... All that good stuff, I mean, it really means a lot to me. So let me switch back to my um, favorite app, which is this one right here, which is my party members and stuff. So yeah, let's head north of um, Jupe Live City now. This is almost a 30 minute part, if not, it's already 30 minutes. So yeah, back to about 204. Let's just see if we can run into, not run into our Pokemon. Okay, let's hope we don't, yeah, good. So, um, yeah, I'll cut off right here. So, um, I did use an Ember on that Starly, so I have one less Ember, but I don't want to get back to the Pokemon Center and heal that one power point. So, yeah, so this has been then my Pokemon Diamond, um, walk through, uh, Pokemon Diamond Redux walkthrough guide part. And the next part will take on what lies north of the, this right here, which is the Ravage Path, actually. Yeah, Ravage Path. Which, now that we have Rock Smash and we can use it outside of battle, we can actually get past those rocks in the caves. That's awesome. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to leave you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux walkthrough guide.